my rookie season, and I've been chosen to the NBA All-Star team, representing the Western Conference, and uh, it's a good atmosphere to feel all these main eventers, these best players in the NBA, some in NBA history, some of the best in NBA history. I got Kobe Bryant on my team, and yes, so that's my first ever All-Star appearance in my first ever season in the NBA. Very special moment for me, and uh, <laughs> I was laughing here because Tim Duncan gets it on the pretty much three-point line, and then he's like, clock's winding now, might as well back it up even more, go with the fadeaway from freaking another universe, and uh, he, of course, misses it. Timmy D, you don't hit those often, do you, Timmy D? James goes up, pulls up a three to start the game off with a nice three-pointer. And then I'm just taking it in, looking at Zach Randolph, seeing what's up, talking to him, you know, saying what's up. Look around at the stadium, take it all in. Because, oh, there's Tyreek Evans and Chris Kamen as well. I'm taking it all in because it's my rookie season and it's a big opportunity for me and I want to show up I want to stay in the mental zone so I can get MVP in the all-star game first ever appearance as a rookie I want my MVP trophy so I'm gonna try for it the best I can starting off the match for the Western Conference Manu Ginobili starts off with the first points Drains a three to answer LeBron. Now, here I come in. How'd you like that nice little intro? Woo! Let's go! That's how I start off the game. With an acrobatic layup. I thought that was very nice to start off the game. Dish it to Zach Randolph. He takes it up strong. And my objective there was get at least one assist. Pretty easy. Uh, I'm just going to say Wade hits the nice... Uh, Jumper in his man's face after the uh, behind the back move. It was pretty nice by Wade, so I thought I'd include that in here. Here I break up my man's ankles and finish up with a nice layup. I thought that was very nice here. Oh, wait. JP for three. In the All-Star game, JP for three. That's when it's much in the clutch. That's sick stuff right there. Get another nice layup going. I'm firing up. Got nine points, but it's already the fourth quarter when I get subbed in again, so... I don't have much of a choice here. I'm backing down my man. I'm just going to JP for three again. Make that in. Two JP for threes in the All-Star game. Nothing gets better than that. Kobe misses his fadeaway. I grab the offensive rebound. And here I cross up my man. He gets stuck on Kobe. I'm slamming it down hard. There's a little nice instant replay action for you guys. Nice little slam there. I think I was using LeBron James dunk package and I keep changing up dunk packages but I got I got one now that I'm gonna use and you'll see that in a couple of uh, videos from now and I'll make sure to tell you guys what I'm using because I really like it right now so anyways here I'm crossing them up with some nice hesitation moves take it in for another layup and right here I got 16 points I get fouled intentionally because we're up by about five there I think I can see and uh, then I make the uh, first three free throw and then make the last one as well. So we get up by seven points. And here I'm like, hey, I'm just going to try to buzzer beat it, make it epic. And uh, I get in the green, but I miss. Too bad. Thanks for watching my first All-Star game. And uh, the next All-Star game you won't see in 2K11. It'll probably be 2K12. So stay tuned for that. See you guys later.